So we keep talking behind the scenes here about Dorian. We've been covering it and we'll remain covering it as it moves up the East Coast. We're also talking about the name of it, right? With all this hurricane coverage behind the scenes here at 10 News, we've been talking about where they come yeah. from. They seem kind of random. Dorian, <laughs> Irma, Katrina. Yeah, every name that we have, right? So uh, a lot of storms, you know, and a lot of names to go along with those storms. Actually, they're, they're not random at all. They're, there's a system for how we name storms. So if you got a minute, I can explain what's in the name of a hurricane. So you may notice uh, a lot of international names, not just names that would seem to be right here in the United States, but those international names represent the nations that are covered in the tropical Atlantic. Think about all those different island nations there down in the Caribbean. So here's how all of this works. There are six lists of names, okay? So there's our six lists of names that go out to 2024. The names are determined by the World Meteorological Organization. So it's not even the National Weather Service or the National Hurricane, certainly not us here at 10 News. Now, those lists are used in rotation and then recycled every six years. So that means the list that we are currently using right now in 2019 will be used again in 2025. Now, those lists of names are all in alphabetical order. So you start off with Andrea. It's a female name. Barry is a male name. Chantal is a female name. So they they go back and forth between male and female names. Now, there are cases where those names will be retired and they're retired when the storm is so deadly or costly that using it again would be inappropriate. Guys, it looks like we will probably retire Dorian at the end of the year. All right.